The things that I remember, I remember very clear. It seems like it was yesterday. Okay, I'm going in. The noise of helicopters and gunshots and the Humvees rolling through. Come on, man, let's get this girl. I remember that moment and just uh, how scared I was. It's OK, it's OK. United States Army supply convoy was ambushed by irregular Iraqi forces. Nine days earlier, in late March of 2003, 19-year-old Army Private Jessica Lynch of Palestine, West Virginia, experienced what she calls the deadliest day. Her supply convoy took a wrong turn, was ambushed, and came under heavy fire. Her gun jammed. All she could do was close her eyes and pray. The next thing she knew, she was in an Iraqi hospital with a fractured spine, broken arm, and shattered left leg, and no memory of the past three hours. There were all kinds of stories and rumors about what actually happened to you, whether you were tortured, sexually abused. There are reports that said that this is what occurred, and mm -hmm. you know they have medical evidence of saying this is mm -hmm. this and that took place. Um, but I don't, I don't really speak about it because I don't, I don't remember it. I wasn't mm -hmm. alert and conscious at the time. What Lynch does remember is the excellent medical care she received from the Iraqi doctors and nurses. They almost became like my guardians. Like, mm. I felt weird. I mean, like, this is weird to say, but I really felt like they were my protectors. Mm. Like, you were surprised that the Iraqi doctors were trying to keep you alive. Right. Were you a strong believer in Christ at the time? Yeah, because, I mean, to be honest, I had nobody else to rely on but him. Like, I had no one to talk to. Although she didn't know it at the time, her best friend, who drove their vehicle, died in the same hospital. Eleven fellow soldiers had been killed. Others were wounded or captured. Then, on April 1st, she heard the sound of freedom. Are you in any pain? It took me a little bit to, uh, to actually realize what was happening. But then, you know, everything started happening so fast. They were surrounding me, you know. Uh, the main goal was just to get me outside of the hospital as quickly as possible to, to get me inside of the helicopter and wow. get to Kuwait where, you know, it was a safe haven that we were out of enemy zone. We're on a plane now and we're gonna go to Kuwait, okay? Almost four months later, Lynch came home to a hero's welcome and later received three medals, including the Purple Heart. Although no longer in the headlines, Lynch still carries the trauma, both physically and mentally. I have really bad mm. nightmares where these Iraqi men are chasing me. Still. And it's been this, still. yeah, and it's the same dream that, or nightmare, yeah. that occurs every single time. Yeah, it's uh, getting up every morning and, you know, putting on my brace and the what if situation. So you wear a so. brace on your leg? I do. I, I have a have a leg brace that I wear uh, because of the nerve damage that occurred mm. within my back. Um, I lost all feeling on my left side. In the past decade, Jessica co-wrote a New York Times bestseller, earned her teaching degree, and became a mother to a little girl. Now she's added actress to her resume, playing a soldier in Virtuous, a film celebrating the virtuous woman in today's society. Did you ever think you'd be acting? No, 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 no. No, this is something that's completely out of my comfort zone, but I'm glad that I gave it a shot and that I am a part of this film. Jessica says 11 years and 21 surgeries later, she's still uncomfortable with the label hero and points to those brave men and women serving right now on the front lines for our freedom. We need to still continue to pray and support them until they're all home safely. Wendy Griffith, CBN News.